morning. You join me this morning at the Roaches, come with Steve in his van, and uh, stop for McDonald's breakfast on the way, which is always good. And uh, yeah, somewhere I've never been before, surprisingly. Um, beautiful, beautiful place. Um, just a short walk up from the van, a little bit steep, but not too, nothing too bad at all. Um, the conditions this morning are, are very, very changeable. When we first got here, it was completely clagged in with fog, rain, wind. It's still a bit windy, but as you can see, the clag has all completely lifted. And we've got some lovely light on these set of rocks over here, which I've just taken two photos of. Um, so yeah, with these, uh, these two sets of uh, rocks, I suppose, or ridges, uh, I've taken one photo incorporating a wall in the bottom left-hand corner, the uh, bottom left-hand third, and I've got a uh, hen cloud in the background, and I'm sure this set of rocks here has a name, part of the brooches, uh, on the right-hand third. Uh, so it's quite a nice quintessential Peak District scene, to be honest with you. Um, and then basically I've uh, opted to then do a pano, very much the same composition I've just described, with the wall on the left, I've got the sun in the frame as well, so I'm bracketing the exposure, hen cloud in the background, this set of rocks here, and also the reservoir down in the valley below. So it's quite a nice wide scene. Just making sure I leave a bit of a gap each side of the panel to make sure I can stitch them nicely uh, when I get back in post. Yeah, not the most game-changing photos in the world, but as I say, quite a quintessential uh, Peak District scene. So I'll put these shots on screen for you now. Steve's gone up uh, the top of the roaches there, so I'm gonna go and catch him up. I'm hunkering down because this wind's pretty brutal. Uh, this camera nearly blew over. Um, just been framing up a shot. Probably spent the best part of half an hour trying to frame this up. Probably spent far too long trying to get this shot uh, just right, to be honest with you. I don't know if it's going to work. But basically, I don't know if you can see it on here, but you've got these uh, set of rocks here. I've gone kind of like three or four um, that are leaning out towards the end of the roaches just there. And there's like a little hill over here as well with some lovely little trees on it. Look like Scots pines, uh, just balancing against the roaches. Um, shooting really towards the sun, so uh, I didn't notice there's quite a bit of lens flare on the, on, the, on the lens. So to get around that problem, put my finger over the sun, uh, took an exposure for that, and then took an exposure without that as well. And what I'll be able to do is when I get in Photoshop, sorry, hopefully the, you can hear me okay with the wind. Um, what I'll be able to do in Photoshop then is just choose the, uh, the shots that haven't got lens flare in and take those out of the, uh, the main photo. So I don't know. It may work, it may not. Having foreground interest like this is not really my, uh, one of my strengths. I do generally much prefer a telephoto uh, photo. So yeah, this is a bit of a challenge for me. But anyway, I'll put it on screen. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, no idea where Steve's gone. Uh, <laughs> like I say, I've been, I've been sitting around here for about half an hour trying to frame this shot up. Probably spent far too long on it, but I'm gonna go and find Steve.
look who's joined me. The Wanderer returns. So I've just been having a chat with the Wanderer, who's now returned. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think we're done for the rocks now, to be honest with you. The, the light, how harsh it is. Um, what we're probably going to do is there's some really interesting looking woodlands down there. And as you all probably know from watching me, I do love a good woodland. So we're going to spend some time looking around there and see what we can find. Um, but wow, what a fantastic place. So, somewhere I've never been before. Some I'll definitely be returned to. It's only about an hour and a half away from home, which is uh, easily accessible. And the walk up ain't too bad at all either. Only thing I would say is it's very, very busy and uh, not too comfortable <laughs> recording in front of general public. But anyway, talk to you when we get down into the woodlands. So we've come down to this woodland part, which has got some beautiful Scots pines. Uh, as you can probably see some behind me. I think that's a Scots pine anyway, right there. Um, <laughs> but uh, Steve spotted this scene, actually. Fair play to him. Um, so you've got this beautiful stone wall here and these trees that have obviously been very windswept over the years. And then you've got obviously the reservoir down below. So what I've been done, what I've done here is been really careful to just to position the camera in such a way that these branches coming off the tree aren't intersecting with the middle of the, uh, the reservoir there, um, which is working out to be quite a nice scene. I mean, these aren't the perfect conditions for this shot, but it's definitely one worth taking to remember to come back to when the conditions are just right. Um, what may work potentially is, is during sun, uh, sunset. You've got the sun uh, setting over that way and just creating maybe a bit of a silhouette here, illuminating the reservoir maybe, um, or possibly at sunrise as well. Um, the sun coming in this way, um, just giving some nice soft light and maybe if there's a, a temperature inversion down there as well that could also work so definitely want to remember this anyway i'll put it on screen like i say not got the right conditions for it but yeah hope you like it Steer's gone over that way, and uh, looks like the sweetie fairy's been. Sweetie fairy's left me a sweet on my bag. He just look after me, bless him. Okay, I was caught up with the Sweetie Fairy. Um, walk around this woodland for a bit and while it's got absolutely loads of potential, I just don't think it's got the potential today. Um, it needs that level of separation, some fog, some atmosphere, heavy rain even, just something to soften it a bit. Uh, so I think we're done for this woodland. We're gonna sort of head back down a little bit. Uh, Steve seems to think there might be one or two, maybe sort of sets of trees, maybe some lone trees uh, that we can photograph. We have got quite changeable light. Um, and Steve was just taking a shot of like a, a nice row of trees that got like a nice bend to them um, and just waiting for the light through to get the shadows. So yeah, I think he got that one, so he's quite happy with that. But uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be the name of the game now, really. Head back down and just see what we see, really. So let's see what we find. Okay, so I think we're done for this area. Um, the tree that Steve was referring to is just down here and it's the one that's actually by the van. Um, in this light, it's just not going to work. So. Gonna head back down to the van now. Um, not sure what we're doing next, but uh, when we know, I'll let you know. So I just took a very short drive down the road uh, to this quite popular location of this old barn. I'm sure it's got a name, but I couldn't tell you what it is. Just taking a, a basically a photo of this, uh, this old barn here and uh, being very careful to make sure I've got enough separation really between the barn and the trees in the background. Um, the, the roof line, if you like, um, I've placed that in such a place where it's kind of nestled between the way the two branches are coming up, so it's kind of framing it quite nicely. And I've just been very careful to think about what's in the background because I framed up a shot before, not realizing there's a farm in the valley on the opposite side of the, uh, the valley there. <laughs> uh, so I've just moved ever so slightly to get that out of the frame because it's a bit of a distraction. Um, working out to be quite a nice scene. One issue I do have is 
and you can probably just see it on the camera here. Uh, there's this tree on the left hand side here which is approaching into the scene a bit, which is not so much of an issue apart from the top left hand corner of the image. So I might actually remove some of these twigs and branches out of the uh, photo in Photoshop. Uh, but yeah, quite a nice scene. We do have some nice moody clouds, um, but what we don't have really is any light at the moment. It's very, very flat. But I think with a bit of processing, a bit of dodging and burning, it could actually work out to be quite a nice image. I'll pop it on the screen now. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Um, there's another barn just up this way as well. I'm not going to have a look at. Steve's been walking around as well, trying to find other compositions. Um, he's seen like a sort of an old gate on this side, which may be possible to use as a bit of a foreground interest. So yeah, have a bit of a walk around here. See what we find. I framed up another composition here of the same barn that we were photographing a moment ago. Uh, just come to the other side of this stone wall and uh, what caught my eye was this uh, this break in the stone wall basically which is acting as a bit of a frame for the barn itself and this beautiful oak tree here um, gone for a portrait orientation and what i'm going to end up doing is probably going for a four by five crop cropping out some of this grass and also crop out, cropping out some of the, the top of the tree there um, should be quite a nice scene um, we have just got a touch of soft light which i think it might just be enough to, to really give this some character. Like I said back on my, uh, my last shot, uh, a bit of dodging and burning should really make this scene come to life. So I'm gonna put this one on screen. Steve's just over there, he's gone to photograph another barn which does look quite interesting, so I'm gonna have a look at that in a minute. Um, but just having a great day out, really. Um, this is an area of the Petrus that I don't really know very well, so to come to some of these locations uh, is really giving me some, some ideas for future shoots that I might have, as I say. We don't have the greatest conditions today, but we should be able to come away with some pretty nice images. So I framed up another shot here and actually I think it's a really solid composition. Um, it's got this path leading through, uh, set amongst this grass here, it's quite, quite dark and leading into the scene, uh, but been really, really careful uh, with the movement of the camera, zooming in, zooming out, moving a slight inch to the left, slight inch to the right, um, just to frame the barn here with these trees. Um, there are some issues that I'm gonna have to work on in Photoshop. Really the biggest issue is the road at the bottom of the hill here has loads of cars on it, so I'm gonna have to get really, really busy in Photoshop. Um, but if I take my time, it should be okay. Um, but I really, really like this composition. Um, so yeah, a bit of editing. I think this should turn out to be really nice. So I'm gonna pop it on screen now and uh, yeah, see what else we can find. We are getting some lovely light over the reservoir over there. What are you doing? <laughs> so Steve's about to take the same shot and he's just marking out exactly where my tripod is. <laughs> now he's moving it. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's a, I think this is going to be quite a nice composition, so I absolutely don't blame him at all. Um, so, so, as I say... So lovely composition set up. <laughs> absolutely perfect. <laughs> you little <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> Um, that's a first for me. So we decided, we've just been for some food at the Winking Man pub. Uh, 
really nice by the way, had a couple of uh, Guinnesses and uh, decided to come back up the roaches for sunset. Um, of all the things I expected to see today, a nudist group wasn't one of them. Just had this whole nudist group walking down the uh, down the hill as we we're walking up, and uh, yeah, it was eye-opening. Um, <laughs> so anyway, heading back up to the roaches now. Um, it's a good three or so hours till sunset. Just going to take it nice and steady and uh, try and find some compositions. But uh, yeah, interesting. Okay, so we're back up the roaches now, and. Uh, the weather's properly closed in. Just look how moody and clagged in it is behind me. But uh, we're going to stick it out for sunset because one thing's for sure, or sometimes for sure, is after a rainstorm like this, you can get some of the best light. Um, have just taken a quick image. Not sure it's going to work, but with these beautiful moody clouds you've got behind me, um, let me just brighten this up a bit actually. With these beautiful moody clouds behind me, um, we just framed up a shot with this sort of rock here, and this one here, and the uh, reservoir in the middle, um, really making the sky most most of the scene because down here, it's just a bit meh. <laughs> so yeah, all about the sky and the rocks and the, the reservoir. So yeah, gonna stick it out for a bit and see what happens. Never let it be said that I don't go above and beyond to bring you these vlogs. We've been standing here for about an hour and a half now, Steve. Yeah, something like that. Uh, not much has changed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, getting a bit cold. My hands are freezing. Um, but I have just taken a shot. I don't know if it's going to work out, but at least it gives you a, a vision of what we're experiencing here uh, this evening. So just involving this, uh, this rock down here uh, and these rocks in the background. And then just every now and then, as the fog comes through, it just lifts to reveal some further rocks that are quite a bit higher in the background. So it's quite a nice scene. Don't know if it's going to work as a photo with these conditions, but uh, I'll pop it on the screen now anyway. But uh, yeah, absolutely freezing. Just had Steve uh, running up and down here, um, trying to keep warm. Uh, I'll put that on screen now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just going to stick it out for a bit, because like I say, we've got about 45 minutes to an hour for sunset. Um, we have just got a little break in the clouds over there, a bit of light coming through. So you never know what's going to happen. This could be really interesting. If that breaks through and lights this fog up, we're in for an absolute treat. This, this is why I do landscape photography. Just look at that, I have never seen anything like it. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, I'm not gonna do much vlogging here because I really need to try and get these shots before that light fades. So stick with me. Any shots I get, I'll put on the screen at the end. I don't know, I think I might have missed it. Really scrapping around to try and find a composition. I was like, do I put on my wide angle lens and try and incorporate some of these rocks, which I did think I managed to get one. I don't know if it's any good because it was very, very rushed. Um, and then I thought, okay, because I could see some beautiful shadows with some of the trees down in the valley. Um, tried to put the telephoto lens on, tried to pick out a composition and it just wasn't working for me. And by the time I'd done that, it's gone. Um, never know, we might get another sort of bit of afterglow, hopefully, but if anything, to be honest, I was just so happy just to see it. Um, I mean, I might, I might not have come away with a good photo, but wow, I have never seen anything like that. It was like a painting. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, wow. <laughs> if I did get any images, I'll put them on screen now, but I just don't know. I just don't know. Um, anyway, catch my breath. I'm definitely a lot warmer now anyway, <laughs> but uh, 
yeah, going to stick it out for a bit more. You never know, we might get something. If not, I'm going to end it here. So I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Uh, from me and from Steve, on the roaches with the most beautiful conditions. See you soon.